Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and RockAuto.com. Volkswagen entered the family-sized three-row crossover arena just two years ago, ready to play with a fantastic Atlas. Well, it turns out that the mid-size Atlas was just the beginning of things to come. Now we find that this new two-row Atlas Crossport has joined the team. Now, is the Crossport going to be another game changer for Volkswagen or just a supporting player? The first thing to keep in mind when it comes to this five-passenger 2020 Volkswagen Atlas Crossport is that sport here applies to this Atlas's reformed shape, plus perhaps to a bit of a lifestyle change. So forget about any hot rod upgrades. There are no performance enhancements compared to its three-row brother. Still, it ditches that young rider third row in exchange for more style and more features. But hold on, it's also not really a coupe-like redo, as the German luxury brands are wont to do, more of just a slightly more stylish two-row version of an existing three-row SUV. Think Honda Passport. And in profile, it is indeed very similar to the rest of the mid-size two-row crossover crowd. Overall length is about five inches less than the Atlas on the same 117.3-inch wheelbase, and it sits 2.2 inches lower, feasibly lending some credence to the sport moniker. The three-bar chrome grille, front bumper, and lighting are all slightly altered, with full LED lights across the board. Silver roof rails and 18-inch wheels are standard, with up to 21s available, as is a huge panoramic roof. Still very spacious inside, with plenty of room for growing families, and it remains highly functional. Front seats are wide and roomy, while the back seat has additional legroom and reclines farther than in the Atlas. Three across is not a problem here. And in another slight nod to sport, there's a unique steering wheel, as well as an available two-tone interior theme. Everything is very simple and straightforward inside. Base S gets a 6.5-inch touchscreen for infotainment, which goes to 8 inches for every other trim. Standard gauges are clear and informative, but we really do love Volkswagen's Audi-inspired digital cockpit. It alone is worth the upgrade to SEL trim. There's 40.3 cubic feet of cargo space, expanding to 77.8 with the rear seatbacks folded, which is 19 cubic feet less than the Atlas. It's not overly powerful, regardless of which of the two engines you choose. Standard with all trims is a 235 horsepower 2 liter i4 turbo. SE and SEL trims can upgrade to this 276 horsepower 3.6 liter V6 with 266 pound feet of torque. The biggest advantages of the six cylinder being smoothness and overall quieter operation, plus the ability to tow up to 5,000 pounds. Both are available with 4Motion all-wheel drive with program drive modes for off-road and snow. Like the Atlas, ride quality is smooth. The 8-speed automatic transmission equally on board with that mission as well. The Atlas Crossport is the first Volkswagen to offer traffic jam assist and dynamic road sign display. There's also maneuver braking, which intends to keep you from hitting anything when parking but automatic emergency braking is standard. Put the Sport in Sport mode and off the line, the V6 feels, well, very sporty. Throttle tip-in is aggressive, but as revs climb and shifts lag, so did our zero to 60 at 8.4 seconds. Still, that's fast enough to get home before the ice cream melts. And the quarter mile is competitive at 16.3 seconds and 94 miles per hour. We'd stop short of calling it nimble through the cones, but it feels pretty darn agile for a fairly large SUV. And that can, of course, be attributed to its MQB bones, the same architecture you'll find under a VW Golf. Identical four-wheel independent suspension as the regular Atlas, just slightly retuned. Government fuel economy ratings for an all-wheel drive 3.6 liter are 16 city, 22 highway, and 19 combined. We averaged a respectable 20.4 miles per gallon on regular. Still, that's a worse than average energy impact score, 
17.3 barrels of oil yearly while emitting 7.9 tons of CO2. Like the three-row Atlas, pricing is very reasonable, starting at just $31,565. Top SEL trim at $40,565. Adding all-wheel drive, another $1,900. So the 2020 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport is not another game changer. But with it, VW not only wedges another all-important SUV player into their lineup, but gives people that don't need a third row a slightly more stylish, comfortable, and perhaps better lifestyle option. Looks like Volkswagen found an alternative role for success for the Atlas.